had been ultimate torture week on S and P. Why oh why? Very very simple and very clear reason. If you're a day trader and you know how to read PO price and how to trade PO price, you would completely understand that bullish trend came to reversal zone. And this is where worthless formations had started as of Tuesday morning. Price started dancing from reversals on back and forth to decision point one, giving very, very worthless, worthless weak formations. Every time price came to reversal zone, which is exhaustion level on hourly chart, alpha wave trade of Fibonacci level, sellers stepped in. Biggest problem, sellers are not powerful enough giving incredibly worthless corrective range reminding you if you're a prudent trader you're not babysitting this fluff you are not being tortured because in addition to very clear correlation of very important reversal zone which in two days we had taken only one trade only one aggressive trade because there is no meaning in this structure in addition to this level, S&P reached very important second target on daily level. Reminding you, don't enter into the brick wall. This is what happened when first level was reached on daily. And this is what happened when decision point two was reached. Third day in a row, price blasting against this brick wall. As a knowledgeable trader, when you see this ultimate exhaustion, you know better. Take a day off. Get a hobby. Get a dog. Give some love. Have good time. Don't be tortured. Trader who trades with indicators sits and keeps his fingers crossed. Oh, when it will play out? When will it give me the entry? knowledgeable trader that looks at this structure says ouch why in the world would i be ever tortured i know what worthless correction is i'm gonna go and mentor foster kids who would give me love i would go and walk my dog or i will go hit the balls i would not be tortured what is happening on oil this week? Let's take a look. Oil hourly gave us one of the slowest formations until it came to 103 level. When I spelled out, hey guys, if you're going to see 103, you know that you could buy, right? At 103, you had an opportunity if you played by alpha wave trader rules to buy for 50 ticks. Price struggled at this level enormously until we came to oil news day, which yesterday we had taken one trade on oil because we know the danger of reversal zone and oil struggled here for three hours. And the reason why it's giving all this fascinating formations because it's reversal zone three. The buyers are here and the sellers are weak. And the reason why the sellers are weak, because oil daily is a little tired. Very powerful selling formation from reversal zone at 104.72. And here it is, corrective day on oil. That simple. And here it is, weekly chart on oil. So where oil is struggled and reversed from at decision point two, all the levels drawn in October 2013 is exactly where S&P is sitting very, very pretty on daily. Is exactly same level where S&P is sitting very, very pretty on five range. Formula remains the same. So if you're a knowledgeable trader and you're trading S&P, 
You haven't placed any trade this week. Kudos to you. You are not under pressure to make $1,000 or $5,000 a day. It doesn't work. Don't ever place that pressure on yourself. If you are under pressure to trade corrective markets, which what S&P had been doing, and you placing the trades, what happens with your psychological well-being? Knowledgeable trader does not trade this fluff. Knowledgeable trader does something else. Placing trades in corrective markets is not a recipe for happiness. But only pure price can tell you that. So here is excruciating two points on S&P out of the straight after it reached reversal zone just like an hour would be so lovely if only s and p will make up its mind doing the same on hourly as it's done on range charts we start seeing sellers coming in i may take a short at any moment on other time frame but oh no it's the close of the trading room. So, what we are seeing currently is potential pretty impressive short formations. That if you know the rules for pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits, you know what to do. So, adios everybody. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the wave class and in the trading room on Monday.